Hello, crafters. How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome to our live chat. Welcome to Creek Bank Creations. It's Tom and Julie Creek here. Anybody? Else? Hey, Cindy Hooker, how are you? Good to see you this evening. Hope you had a good, a good weekend and a good day. Okay, talk to them. Hey, I'm back. Sorry about that, crafters. I lost you there for a minute. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Hey, good to see everybody. <laughs> Good to see everybody. Sorry about that. We uh, we lost you there for a minute. We got a group. Let them comment to see if they're. Is everybody getting me now? Have you have I come back? That's back. Great. There you are. Okay. Awesome. So to let them know if we lose the feed, we'll just have to jump to Thursday night. We'll see what happens. So. Glad to have you. I hope everybody's had a good weekend, and we're, we're glad to be back again with you. Got a really cool card to do tonight. We are going to be doing the push-pull card. Isn't that cool? And Julie's going to show you the entire mechanical mechanism. In fact, I'm going to give one of these dies away tonight, okay? I'm also going to give away a Sizzix embossing folder. Wait a minute. Are you giving away, did you say... Free. free. That's right. Free. 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 It's free, dearly. It's free. <laughs> it's free. Really? Good. I... Okay. <laughs> it's free. Also, if we get to 90, 90 is the magic number. I'm going to give an apron away. So everybody hit subscribe and everybody hit share, share. so we get all your friends to watch too. So if we can get hit that magical 90 number, I give away a three a third gift tonight if you answer the trivia question. Okay. Uh, now with tonight's card, we've got a bundle special we're gonna do. Okay, of course we've got the the die, which the die I'm gonna give away with the contest. Michelle, but somebody's birthday. Hold on. Whose birthday? Whose birthday is it? Whose Cindy birthday? From Clearwaters, where the beaches are open. Who's thanks for being live on my birthday? It's Michelle Parrish's birthday. Michelle, happy birthday! Happy birth! Happy, happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> happy birthday! Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Michelle! Hey, Michelle. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to give one of these away. This is the, the new push pull die. Also, with the bundle special, we got the push pull die. We've got the push pull accessory die. Oh, we've got the pull push rubber stamp. What do you call that rubber stamp, Julie? Pull tab words. Pull, pull tab words. It's officially called the pull tab words. And, of course, the popping up sentiments. Okay, all four of those items on this bundle. Typically, that costs. Na, 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 na. Where's it at? Oh, usually it's fifty dollars and ninety six cents. Bundle special for thirty five ninety nine. That's right, only thirty five dollars and ninety nine cents. To the chat group. For, uh, that's a sa savings of almost fifteen bucks. Fourteen dollars and ninety seven cents. It's called the pull push bundle special. Julie will be talking more about that as we get further along with the show tonight. And with that, do you have the laptop, the secondary laptop set up? It is, Mrs. Creek. Okay. Yes. Mrs. Creek was asking about technical issues here with the equipment we have since I'm the master technician <laughs> here at Creek Bank Creations, making sure that all these fine high tech gadgets are working. Just call me high tech Tom. With that, here's Julie. Come on, take it away, Julie. How's everybody? You know, I forgot to check out my hair before. I it looks beautiful. How's everybody doing? There's nothing like uh, looking at yourself in the camera and being like, Hello, Kim. Hello, Darren. So um, how is everybody hanging in there? And I'm curious to know in the chat, can you type in there if you are, um, if sure. you're presently working, put work in the feed. And if you're at home, 
put home in the feed. I'm curious to see how many people are um, employed and working or how many people are quarantined at home. Interesting to see. Look at that. Oh, some people are working at home, Heather. That's a good point too. So that's just interesting to see. Retired. That's good. Good, good, good. Awesome. Okay, that's that's just interesting to see where you all are at and how you're doing is and um, how bad you're really what I... Hey, I'm, Katrina Klineman, first time her mom and her are watching on the big screen. Awesome. Glad to have you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're so sorry. <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd like to really think about me not being on a big screen. So... Working part instead nah, of full time. Nah, nah, okay, nah, this, nah, this nah, is just nah. interesting. Um, interesting to know these things. So um, today I um, was listening to a chat from Dr. Leaf. Dr. Caroline Leaf is who I follow and love her advice. And I thought um, she really talked a lot today about people that are at home and not being able to get out. And one of the really good suggestions that she gave was, are you ready? Yes. Tell us. To, Tom, Tom will love this. He'd be I like, can't wait. He'd be I, like, I told you, um, is to um, stick with a normal routine. Normal. N normal. Nor the only place I've ever found normal, Mrs. Creek, is the setting on a washing machine. Yes, but you have asked me to get out of my pajamas before three o'clock. I have asked you that more than once. <laughs> So um, she suggested that if this whole um, thing is getting to you, um, that you uh, try to stick with your normal routine. Getting to me? It's and... already got to me. It's getting? It's not getting. You're not. It already got me. <laughs> I think he was already gotten. You're not, Mr. Creek, you're not trapped in the house. Okay. And some people are. So that was why I was wondering how many people are just like stuck at home. Like even if you're working at home, you're still stuck in a house. So Mr. Creek um, has a garden to work on. And um, all those workers are back. How much time do we have? Should I tell stories on you? What did I do? I should tell stories. Don't tell them a story about the chicken and, the, and, and my mom's food. So I'm not telling them the chicken story. I already told them that story. So like um, last week, Tom came home and he said, he's all excited. The neighbor has, what do you call it? Wood mulch, chipped up trees. Wood, wood chips. He called it mulch, but it's. No, it's chips, wood chips. It's I, chipped up trees. I never call it mulch. And he's all, yes, he did call it mulch. He's all excited. And I'm like. Mm -hmm. and he's i got a whole truckload he's all excited and i'm like okay where are you gonna put this mulch at um and so we had a little discussion mr creek and i did <laughs> about where we were putting this wood chips wood, wood chips. chips shredded actually shredded trees and um he promised me that it was going way down no, the farm I, there, lane. there was no promise who invited him to this party way down the farm lane way down there Way down there in the back where there's a mud hole and a tractor gets stuck. That's where the wood chips were going. And so I said, okay. Okay. So the neighbor comes and the neighbor <laughs> says, I'm on the porch. The neighbor says, where do you want me to put those? And Tom kind of points over back that way. And he goes, really? And I can't really hear the whole entire conversation. Um, but what ended up happening is that the wood chips are like in my front yard. They're not. <laughs> they're, they're in the farm lane. So there's like giant shredded tree things. Um, so that Mr. Creek is not trapped in the house because he's out pushing around shredded <laughs> tree limb things in the farm lane so that the tractor, wood chips. They're wood chips. the tractor will not get stuck. And I should be thankful that there's not a rut. Yes. Right yes. there. In the mud. So remember, tell them um, we need we need to have ninety. There's only we're only twenty five away to get the third drawing. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. I'm reading Darren. Darren says she's worked from home for ten years. You can. Yes. Yeah, that's a good. She says you can have day pajamas and night pajamas. Darren, don't give her any ideas, please. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I, I did think the day that he said, Julie, it's three o'clock and you're still in your pajamas. I will tell you this, that, um, yes, Pat, I know we, my parents had a termite issue. Pat, they're way, they're far away. And that's the why house. they're like, they're far. I can see them, which is enough to annoy me. They're 50 feet away from the house <laughs> on, on the farm. What Mrs. Creek didn't tell you <laughs> that out the front door is the farm lane that goes to the back. It's field. true. Our house is, it kind of sits backwards on the property. Would you call it backwards? No. Anyway, yeah. If you look out the front door, we ought to take a picture of the front, out the front so they can see. We'll see if we can snap a picture and post it on Facebook so you guys can see. Yeah, Tom with the, uh, in the wood chip pile but it just annoys me because i don't want to look there's at, at wood chips and he says there's not a pile anyway my point was he's not stuck in the house that man cannot be stuck in the house it would not end well so um i just want to encourage you that dr lane or dr leaf suggested keeping was, up was she talking about wood chips no oh, okay. she was talking about surviving being in a house with you men all day okay <laughs> Only 21 more. <laughs> Only 21 more people, and Tom has another gift to get. So here's what Dr. Leaf said. Try to keep your routine as much as normal, and if you're starting to feel overwhelmed, closed in on, look for ways that you can reach out and touch other people. So that could be sending a card or um, calling somebody on the phone, but reaching out to others and doing things for other people will give you happy endorphins. I don't know if you know this, but there's actually things going on in your brain when you do those things. So if you're feeling um, sad and lonely, reaching out is really good. And if you do that, you'll feel better. And um, it's almost May 1st. So you could make a May basket and put it on someone's door and leave it. Or you could send someone a card. So those, I just thought those were really good suggestions. And um, I did get out of my pajamas today before three o'clock. <laughs> I get my creative thing going when I have my jams on. Um, but Tom is right that um, having them on till three is probably not a good idea. Okay. So I want to remind you also that um, when you're down to think about times in your life when God's been faithful to you and answered prayer for you. So your scripture that I wanted to share with you tonight that I was holding on to today myself, Psalm 143, 5, I will meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. When we remember God's faithfulness to us in the past, it gives us hope for the future. So reminds us, Donna, you're right about God's faithfulness. And um, even when things don't look good, God has an answer and a plan for us. We just have to keep hanging on. All right. Anything else you'd like to add to that, Mr. Creek? Oh, or God deny? A lot of good stuff in our life. God has done a lot of good things for us. So um, if you, if you get in, in a rut, uh, try doing some of those things. And I encourage you to find somebody in your own life that like if you can connect with Dr. Leaf online or other people that um, get your mojo going for you. I love to listen to um, Elevation Church. And um, if you, they have a live service they do, I think they stream it five or six times on Sunday. So um, I listen to my my home pastor, my home pastor, sounds like I'm a homeboy, my home pastor. And then um, I listen to Stephen Furtig from Elevation later in the day and find that very only encouraging. Need 18 more. <laughs> only need 18 more. We're going to 17. do a pull hey, card hit tonight. Share. Hit share. Mr. Creek wants you to share. We're going to, you know, um, if you're new to us, if you hit subscribe, then you'll get a notification when we're on. If you hit the little bell next to subscribe, you'll get a notification. Yeah. And, and if you share the feed, um, other people will jump on and join us. And then um, when we hit 90, Mr. Creek has more things to give away. So we're going to look at the um, poll card um, tonight. Oh, that's good, Kathy. She said she's counting her blessings. That's another good way to keep your head cleared up and in good shape mentally. So let's, uh, if you guys um, type in that feed while I'm going here, what you're thankful for. And let's think about the things that we're thankful for, because we do have so much to be thankful for. And I see that people are saying they got their 
um, orders and stuff. Tom, sh- Tom worked his rear end off today. The embelly jelly. Oh, yes. Don't look at that. Yes. Please, <laughs> please. Everybody, you guys, every, we need, every, we have every, to get every, another every, camera every. in this room so you can see what he's doing. Um, the embelly jelly still, uh, it arrived today. And so all of those orders, if you had an order that was waiting on embelly jelly, it did ship today and I only have three left. So, um, that product is back up online. Those are good things that you're saying that you're thankful for being healthy and still working and you, <laughs> that you woke up. I'm glad you woke up too. Uh, but uh these it's good you says that she's thankful for nice weather so her husband will get out of the house yes (laughs) but you better be careful he'll bring home wood chips (laughs) (laughs) so it's good to think about um the things you're thankful for okay we're doing a pull card tonight believe it or not we're having this chat session we're going to do a pull card tonight and um learn how to make this interactive card this card um is fairly simple, but there is a little, like there's tricks to it. So we're gonna go over that tonight. There are, when I designed this, I have, Mr. Creek's moved all my stuff. Where did the, where did you do with the bundle, Thomas? It's right there underneath that paper. Okay. So what you have is this die, and this is your, um, your basic die, and this is the mechanism. So it has, it, it's got your mechanism pieces. I recommend that when you die cut this, that you die cut it on 110 pound cardstock. And that's why we stock it in our online store. If you do not have some really heavy cardstock, you need to get some because this, um, the mechanism itself takes a lot of pulling and pushing. Stress. Stress, thank you, Tom. Stress, Stress. is the word I love. So Stress. you need some heavy cardstock or it, like folds and does weird things and we don't want to do weird things. And stress is what I feel when I don't have embelly jelly and I have all these orders. Yes, yes. yes. So <laughs> <laughs> um, this is the accessory die. The accessory die has um, the butterfly, the gift, the sun, and a flower. And the flower has like dimensional parts. So I designed these pieces specifically to fit in the paddle of the pole. Um, But you'll probably have some dies at home that would work. And one of the reasons that we're doing the anchor tonight is because I wanted to show you if you have a die at home that works, you can use, you can get creative with the things that you already have Um, to to add, to decorate that pull tab. Heather said that stress spelled backward is desserts. (laughs) <laughs> well yeah and uh, yes yeah my um yes i i do have friends who have gone out to buy new pants we won't talk about that hey, on, do you remember how many sheets on, are in the 110 pound <laughs> card stock <laughs> no, I... <laughs> Tell are we gonna actually I'll go check. work tonight I'll go check. I'll go check. <laughs> mr creek tom what exam room is that in tom's going to exam room exact exam room Oh, he says it's in the back. So if you don't know, we are located in a former doctor's office. So our studio is actually in the waiting room. So we're all in the waiting room right now. And then we have different things in different rooms. And then in weird in the back of this doctor's office is a garage. So when we come back from a show, when we unload the trailer, we have a garage back there. So Tom went back to the garage. So I'm going to show you some cards that we made with the... Um, with the set so you can kind of see the different things that you can do with them. And what I wanted to do was show you this pretty close up of that flower. And when you die cut that flower in different colors, and of course we've die cut it with our super tacky tape on the back so we can inlay it as a sticker, you get a really cool look. And this little green piece here is the um, spring sprig die. So that's a Mother's Day card. We did this for Easter. Oh, what a savior, isn't he wonderful? And the fun thing about this is you can make this on a larger five by seven card, but we're, I'm gonna teach you how to size it for, a, um, for an A2 card. So you can make it that way. Um, this is our gra- the graduation card. I've had this one in our newsletters and stuff. This particular stamp is no longer available, but all of the other components are. And that is the graduation stencil. Diane Morris made this card and it's so fun. 
happy guy. Um, giraffe sticking up. This is the wild thing. We have the wild thing stamp set and um, paper pad. Barbara had a question. Yes. She said that I don't have 110 pound cardstock. Can I glue two sheets together? Yes. In fact, I you could try uh, Barbara, that's a really good. Tape. That's a really good question. Um, taking two pieces of uh, cardstock that you have and putting super tacky tape together on them, well, and die cutting tacky them. Tape sandwich. Well, no. This be too thick to die cut. Depends what kind of die cut machine she Ooh. has. Barbara, what kind of die cut machine do you have? Not with the tacky tape sandwich. You, the reason why we use. Uh, if she has a big shot, it won't. Ah, if okay. she has an electric machine, it will. So let's find out what kind of. Yes, the giraffe is a hoot. Okay, so good, good question. Probably. Only only 12 more, and you too could be the winner of an apron. Okay, so I wanted to show you this. Diane Wilcox, who um, does work for us, and she lives in New York. Does she live in New York? Yes, New York. New York. I think she lives in the state New of New York. Upstate, not New York City. She lives near, uh, near uh, Syracuse. No, that other no, town. No, not Syracuse. Niagara Falls. Diane um, Wilcox made this card. She's probably watching. She's been trying to log on and so she can comment, but she hasn't figured that out yet. I hope she's watching tonight because this card's adorable. Heather this asked, is work with a big shot. the um, I'm going to answer her. Scare her greetings. But what I thought was really clever, she notched this out with a with a punch, so you can easily get a hold of that tab and pull on it. Okay, so that Buffalo, was, thank you, Donna. Buffalo. Buffalo. Buffalo's right. winning. Shuffle off the buffalo. So low. I thought that was a good idea. And I want to show you this. This is um the Christmas um the Christmas card, and this is the Buffalo plaid background. That's using our pop-up. The uh, pop-up rubber, rubber stamp has popping up to say happy birthday, popping up to say you're amazing, and popping up to say Merry Christmas. And you know what we're missing is the purple card purple card yeah i have no idea the mother's day card here's what i card? want to show i wanted to show you this card if you ha take your money you can tie that on there with a little piece of string and you can actually get that money to show pop the money, up honey. and down okay so it's just tied on with a string it's tied onto the paddle and then when they pull off the money there is the gift and the gift is a multi-layer die that you can um put together so fun Fun, fun, fun. So we can do a lot of different things with this card and have fun with it. And what was the question? That was, why can't she use a big shot? She has the, Barbara says she has a Gemini. So. No, Heather says, why can't, <laughs> why won't it work on a big shot? Ask, answer Heather and Barbara. Heather, if you have um, a manual machine that you're cranking with, Cuddlebug, big shot, you cannot put as much, you won't be able to put as many thick things through that machine and have it cut through the layers. So when we make a tape sandwich and we do tricks with the tape sandwich, we use tape, copy paper, tape. The reason we're using copy paper is because if you're cutting on a manual machine like a Big Shot or a Cuddle Bug, you will not be able to cut through all the layers um, if you use regular cardstock. So if you're trying to get heavier cardstock and you only have say 65 pound cardstock you can try to do cardstock tape cardstock but you probably will not be able to cut through that with a big shot you'll just have to mess around with it if you have the gemini you might be able to do that you'll have to kind of mess around with your shim configurations um the sizzix vagabond cuts through those but things you can do it with 110 pounds she's trying to get we got two questions 110 pound you can cut with anything all right, with the Vagabond, with the Gemini, yes. with, the, with the Big Shot. Yes. It was the sandwich. If you're trying to make heavier paper with 65-pound paper and you're layering, then you're just going to have to mess around with pressure machines. It might be worth the $5.99 less 20% for the $110 cardstock. Yes. By the time yes. By the time, and waste tape and paper. Because Tom's probably with right. The 20% the discount. Paper is, did you put on there the price? Yeah, it's five ninety nine less twenty percent. Five ninety nine comes to four dollars and eighty cents. Less twenty percent, and orders over fifty. That's forty cents a dollars sheet by the time you spend free. all the time. So, Mr. Creek's probably right. It's probably just better to buy the package of paper. So, have we totally confused you all? Have we? Have we got that? 
So everything on the website, uh, we're going to talk about a lot of different supplies tonight. I am going to teach you a technique, a stenciling technique when we get to the end of this project as well. And um, everything we're using is 20% off on the website when you use the coupon code SUNSHINE. We have extended that coupon code into May. And um, if you look at the bundle specials on the website, anytime you order a bundle special, you're going to get 30% off the bundle specials. So I have, we've been leaving the bundle specials up there so you can kind of cruise through them. And each one of the YouTube videos has at this point, a bundle special attached to it. I don't know how long we're going to continue that, but for now that's the case. Also, every time we do a, um, when we're filming a YouTube, there is a blog post attached to it. And the blog post has a complete list of supplies. So if you're like, wanting to find a direct link if you go to the blog which is www.creekbankcreations can you type that in the thing for me thomas www.creekbankcreations.blogspot.com you'll find those there also we have pinterest pages for everything we're doing so um the pinterest i'm trying to get all blogspace.com <laughs> blog right top blog right <laughs> <laughs> I'm you asked me to type it in www.creekbankcreations.blog. What? <laughs> Blogspot. Blogspot. He's a techie guy. Blogspot.com. Okay. What was I saying? The Pinterest page has all the pictures. Sorry, guys. Everybody, are we? Hello from Maryland. Um, okay. So I think that covers that part of our little chat tonight and um so we're going to die cut on 110 pound cardstock we are going to use on the inside of this card the slide guide mechanism these are the little things that i made for the slide cards they're two pieces of plastic that click together and they are the magic that happens inside this card you need three of <laughs> slide guides per card and there are 24 sets in this little bitty package. Yes, remember, 20, 24 males and 24 females. Yes. And if you leave them in the bag long enough, they breed like guppies, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just okay, saying. Just so saying. I think we're ready to turn the camera down and um, get to work. We're going to do the happy birthday card first. And if you got, if you got, if you's got, if you had the opportunity if and you and to visit the booth earlier in the year um we this was our make and take so um i only have 900 of these left over. <laughs> um so we're going to start here because this is fairly easy i prefer when i make these cards not to stamp on the little pole and for people to get to figure that out on their own but i know a lot of you really like um adding the word there instructions so instructions. so that your friends know to pull it so that's we do have the pull tab word stamp and that is also sized to fit our tab die so have if you, you ever given a card to somebody and it looked like a deer while in he's <laughs> while he's talking <laughs> it's an instructional stamp to, to tell them what to do yes it is because an instruction. Like, you have like somebody that. asking you a question about yeah. the website i'm going to turn the camera down we're going to get started Hang on, because we're going down. We're going down. Down or down or down. Okay. How about a card? Let's get a card on there. Got stencils everywhere tonight. How's that look, ladies? Can you give me some feedback? I'll give you feedback. Sharon's answering. Okay. How does that look? Hmm. Good. Everybody's saying good. Okay. All right. Great. Like, guys, it's so nice to have your feedback. Only need 11 more, by the way. Yes. Good. Oh, yes. Yeah. She's saying she uses the little tab, the... Uh, stamp on our tab pages for scrapbooking. That's a great idea. Okay, we're going to start with the um, happy birthday card. And when you 
when I make um, a card like this, I'm sizing it for an A2 card background. So I am cutting my mat four by 7.5. So the green piece is four by 7.5. Okay, because I like to mat things. So that piece four by 4.75. White piece, 3.75 by 4.5. You see how I have that nice mat? And we, when we adhere it to the card, we push it up to the top. Dorette said it was a little low. Card was a little low, so maybe you need to raise it up a little bit. Okay. Um, so we have room for that pull tab. Okay, so we're going to start with, we're going to do the stencil work first, so we're going to use our plain white card here, and we're going to do stencil work. So I'm going to take my super tacky tape and we sell this in various sizes. This is the quarter inch tape. The purpose of the tape is to secure the card down. Did we mention that bundle special on the, on the super tacky tape, the quarter inch? I don't half? think we did, Tom. Do you want to type that in the two text of quarter, while I'm, okay, while I'm yes, talking? I'll type it in, yes, dear. <laughs> Would you be quiet? <laughs> oh, okay, we're adhering the card down. This is kind of like a Wild West show tonight. We're gonna to put this on top, put our stencil on top, and we're going to hold our stencil in place with the purple tape. If I use the grid to line up that white card at the beginning, and then I use the grid to line up my stencil here, then I know that my stencil is straight. And we are missing the proper colors of ink. Oh, what do you need? <laughs> Um, back in my tote for my, um, the show tote is my ink and I need what, something what borrowed that? and Lime Ricky. Lime Ricky and something borrowed. Yes. Wow. Okay. Wow. So while Tom does that, I will move on and teach you something else. So we die cut the, um, pieces here and I've die cut those for you on 110 pound cardstock. And we, so what we're going to do is move over and prep the mechanism piece. This is your paddle. You're going to need two paddles. And um, I have already stamped on this, get my other paddle here, two paddles. Now we're gonna take our paddle and these are long enough. So if you made a five by seven card, you could use them for a five by seven. We need to shorten them up a little bit because we're doing a A2 card, which is a little bit shorter. So in my, back in my show tote, it's sitting open on the floor. I'm gonna mark that at three quarters of an inch and I'm gonna put an X in the middle. Okay, this is another great thing about the grid. You can use the grid to measure. Does that make sense, guys? I'm just using the grid to mark three quarters of an inch. And there's my top piece and my bottom piece. Now we're going to take this and we're going to take our slide guides and we want three tops and three bottoms. And the males are the smaller of the two. And I always put those down on the bottom first and the larger circles are the females and they go on top and it's good that Tom's not here to make comments there we go okay now if you have those all three out then you literally can lay those circles right on top of those parts of the slide guide and then click the tops on one two three Okay, now we are going to take our A2 card and going to adhere this to the middle of our A2 card. When I, Tom has arrived to save the day, when I um, have a card and it requires measurement, and I know every time I make the card, I'm gonna have to measure, I make a jig. I always make the jig on orange cardstock. So this is my jig. I want to try to see if I can get it up there so you can see how I write notes on the jig. So I have the measurement on here and I have written on here A2 card is 8.5 by 5.5 and I'm going to score at 4.25 to make that card. And my, my rectangle here is 2.125 by 2.75. Now, if I set this on my card right there, is the center point of my card. And I need to know the center point because I'm going to take my mechanism 
and I'm going to use a glue dot to adhere it. So the grid pad that we're working on is our um, large grid pad that we sell, and I think Tom's getting you the information on that. So we want to take our mechanism, and we're going to take some mini glue dots, and we're going to adhere mini glue dots. So if you use the minis, they are the perfect size for the slide guides, and we're gonna take those and we're gonna tear them apart. And you should be able to take these apart and throw the paper away so that you have the clear and you take the clear and push it on, one in the center. If you're using your glue dots and they're not pulling away properly from the clear piece, and they're like stringing out really bad, then you probably have dried out glue dots. They do dry out. So the dried glue dots, we all know, will not do They're what? frustrating. They won't stick. Well, they stick, but they, they're just frustrating. They don't pull off the card properly. So I have my center point of my card. I have my glue dot. I'm going to take my glue dot, and I want to push down pretty good because that is where all of the pressure is on this card, right there in the center. Okay, now I'm gonna take two more glue dots. We're going to do the same thing. One on the right and one on the left. Okay, and then we're going to take our paddles and- Andy Zach asks if we've done a video on the barn door die. Yes. If not, would you consider it? Yes, we have. We, we've not done a live one, but you have one on the archives, correct? I do have one in the archives. And if we get to, if we have time, we might get to that like maybe in June. We'll see. So then I'm going to take my paddles, and that stuck down when I was talking. And we want that line to be right on top of that slide guide. Does that make sense? Stick it down. Right? on there. Now, because these are long, we're going to take our scissors and we want to trim those off as close to the slide guide as we can get. This is installing the mechanism. All right. Try gal said, so the glue dot goes on the female side of the slide guide. No, it goes on the outside of the slide guide. You put the glue dot on the outside of the slide guide. The female and the female. Yes, female. the male and the female pieces snap together in the device. So you have, let's see if we can, if I can get it closer up for you guys. Here's your background. That's a nice thing about doing live. You can answer questions. So here's your card. I'm going to see if I can get it up closer to you guys. So you have, that's your male. And you're going to lay that on top. And then you're going to put the female on top. And click it together. And click it together. Now your glue dot is going on top of there. Doesn't matter whether it's a stick. Technically, it doesn't matter. Like if you ended up flipping this over and putting it on the other side, it would not matter one bit. You just want to start out with one in the center and then add your two other pieces. And then you've just installed your device. Okay, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? We're doing yeah, good. That was, that was Any beautiful. questions about that? Okay, holler if you have questions. Questions are good. Okay, so uh, let's go back to inking. And um, we're going to use our J brush and we're going to ink through our stencil so we can do our background. And I'm just going to pick up some ink side to side with the J brush and we're just going to brush that through our stencil. And if we keep that band back, we're going to get really loose color. If we want more concentrated color, we can pull that up. This kind of like getting two brushes in one. Pick up more color and come back in. And when I start, I'm always starting off on the grid. Do we have a video for the weather dye that she bought last week? And pulling that up. Have we done a video on the um, weather dye? We have not done a video with the weather dye yet, but I am building a Pinterest page called Sunshine and Rainbows. It is full of things with the weather dye, and next week we are going to be doing a sunshine extravaganza. <laughs> um, 
and maybe the week after. So hang on to that. We're going to do some really fun, amazing things with it. I made some really nice cards today that I'm going to be sharing with y'all. The weather die has the sun and the rain and the lightning bolt and clouds. And the clouds are stitched and outlined. So there, that is a fun set. And we are going there. Now, here's what's great about the brush. This is our J brush. And the J brushes are sold separately. Or you can buy the six pack. When you buy the six pack, we'll give you the color card for free. The color card lets you band the brushes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, band the brushes so you can put um, one color on every brush. So I think I just used the blue brush and the green. I did. I'm talking and not paying attention. Don't mix your colors like I just did. So what I did was I just used the blue brush in the green paint or in the green ink because I'm talking. So I will need to clean this off on a wet wipe. So get a wet wipe, wipe it off. And if that doesn't clean it off, then I will have to um, run some cold water over it and get it cleaned off. And I need to pay better attention to what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to pull off the stencil. We have our background for us. And then we're going to clean off our stencil with our Wonder Wipe. So our Wonder Wipe is the soft towel that we use for cleaning uh, rubber stamps and stencils. And it does not leave any residue. So it just has water in it. You wipe things off and you're clean. Now, when we started, we um, put that piece of tape down. So we're going to put our undo on there to lift that off of our work surface. And then we're going to pull that tape up. And then we're going to adhere that to our background paper. So we're going to use the quarter inch tape for that. Use a dot of tape. Okay. Darren, when did I use a dot of tape? I'm not sure I understand that question. Do you understand it, Tom, from Darren? Um, she asked me if there was an alternative to the tape that we use, and I told her she could use tape runner. And then she said, I have tacky tape. And then she said she used a dot of tape. Okay to use tacky then? Um, Darren, if you mean um, when I use the glue dot, is that what you mean? Oh. This is the glue dot? No, I, no, you, I, no. I use the glue dot on the mechanism itself. And when I use when I build the mechanism, I use the glue dot because it has dimensional strength to it. It will hold better than super tacky tape because it's um, thicker. So whenever we're doing these pull cards, I I revert to the mini glue dot. Yes, Darren. I'm using the mini glue dot for that. And this is what the package looks like. Permanent mini glue dots. It's 3 16th size. Yes, 3 16th. Mr. Freak is all over that. Let's put our background on our card. And then we have our sentiment all ready to go. That I already, I um, stamped that previously. And we'll see if we can't clean off some of that ink off of my brush. So one of the fun things about the brush is that you can literally run that on the edge and get a really cool edge. And we'll just use it to get rid of some of our green ink that I put in my brush. And if you notice, you can literally daub that off on your grid pad to clean off your brush like I did. Just run it around a little bit and you'll see that you can run a lot of that ink right off of there. There's our sentiment. So I die cut that with the label stitched rectangle die. It's a nice fit for it. Let's add that to the card. Tape down it. Got it, Minnie. Yes, Darren. I bet you have that in your stash. Okay, we're going to put that in the center, and that is our card front. Now, we're going to turn our card over, and we are going to mark 1.25 inches on the left side and on the right side, just like that. Just give yourself a little mark. Then we're going to go back in, and we're going to add foam tape. I'm using the clear tonight, but you could use um, the other, the cream foam tape that we have. We've used that at shows, too. Either works. 
You could use black if you wanted to. So we're going, we're going to go, we're going to run it down the sides and we need two pieces. Just not, not one, but two, right? Two, one, two, Tom. Two, how many viewers do we have, Tom? 78. 78. How many do you need? I need 90. 90. So we're going to take, these need to be just a little bit shy of an inch. And that one at the bottom, you need to make sure it's just a little shy. This one's in, right at an inch. I'm just going to trim off a little bit. If, it, if he is too long, your device will end up getting caught in him. But if she's too long? If she's too long, she will too, baby. Trimming that. And we're going to pull the red liner. Pull the red liner! So the dimensional, um, this clear adhesive is cool because it doesn't show it all. If you haven't seen me work with it before, totally clear. How clear is it? Very clear, Thomas Edwin. I'm going to double check that short. It is so clear. It is so clear. It looks like it's green. Green. Okay, we're going to take our card. We're going to set it with our mechanism like that and you just want to make sure like where you're putting tape you're not that you have the pull the paddle out of the way and when we put this on i'm putting it on the top portion of the card we put that on and we want to make sure that tab that paddle is not getting in the adhesive and we want to stick everything down stick it all down now when we start this card what we have is three slide guides. One, two, three. Can one. You got that one more time. I lost count. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. So what we have is this slide guide and this slide guide are going to pivot to the bottom, and then come up to the top. Pivot to the bottom, come up to the top. So when you pull down, you want to keep in mind that really what you're doing is pulling down, pulling up pulling down, pulling up. So you're, you're going back and forth and back and forth. If you pull yours and it's not acting correct, I've made enough of these cards to know now what some of the problems are. Okay, so if you, when you start, if this piece of foam at the top is not adhered all the way to the back of the card, the paddle, will slide underneath the foam tape and stick right there. So that's one of the things that you can look for. The other thing is you can end up with it um, getting stuck in the bottom. So if you make your card and it's getting hung up and you're like, what in the world? Why is it getting hung up? You can take your undo. The best way to diagnose your problem is to take your undo and slide it in, in there right underneath your paper, and just take a look at where is the device getting hung up at, and you can literally get in there and look at it and figure out what you're doing wrong. And you're saying that won't tear up my cart? It will not tear up your cart. It'll use a ton of undo, but it will not tear up your cart. But so I can put the cart right ladies, you see how I can like, I can look in there and I can see, the is my pull tab getting stuck somewhere? Have I cut my foam too long? You can really look at it. You have to be careful because if you get that on the glue dot in the center, the whole thing will fall apart. Do you see how I can literally open that up? And now I can see what the problem is. And if that tab is too long over here, it'll come down and in that little piece of foam tape. Would you call that a mechanical diagnosis? I would call it a mechanical diagnosis. So if we wanted to add a dollar bill, all I did was fold the dollar bill and put it on top of the paddle. And then I used a really thin piece of string right there to hold it on. And then I can shut my card. Yeah, more precise applicator. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if you could, um, you know, they make those. Oh, that is a really good idea. Chai Gal, do we know Chai's real name? She's from Chicago. Mm -hmm. That was a great idea. 
try, um, they make those little empty glue bottles that have the little bullet. Um, they have the nozzles on them. I wonder if you put this in that bottle, if that would give you absolute control over the Depends on undo. Depends what kind of plastic it is. Mm. Well, be worth it. I I might have to experiment with that. That is an absolutely fantastic idea about having more control over it. Does anyone have any questions on that? Let's put our present on there, shall we? Now I die cut these with our super tacky tape. Judy took the black thing off and think it thinks it works better. The oh, thing? the black the lip on the bottle. Oh yeah. Yeah, some people don't like the lip on the bottle. But I, I do you would, like you it. Be more precise with well, that. You don't have any way to scrape. It. I like it because you can get it right underneath things. But if you, you know, yeah, if taking it off works better for you. So the gift is on the accessory die. How Sharon a Yellow Rose asked, how far in was the small piece of foam tape? Sharon, there's one, um, one point two five inches from the top. Let's go over that again because that's a good question. There's my gift. So remember we had that green piece of paper. That's our background and that's the larger one, four by 4.75. And you measure over an inch and a quarter in from the left and an inch and a quarter in from the right. And then of course you're gonna have foam go all the way down and all the way down. Does that make sense? So this is an inch and a quarter here. And then this piece needs to be really just shy of one inch in length. Does that make sense to everybody? So probably would be a good idea to make an orange jig that has this on it to match your inside piece so that when you open it, you're like, oh yeah, I gotta measure, I need to measure 1.25 inches and one inch in. So Darren, if you um, take your, bottle and just pull that off and it'll come off there you go i think they all do that don't they tom they do this one's a little tighter but you can see they all come off so okay anybody can, else have the bottle's empty you can put water in it and you can use it to scrape off wallpaper border yeah <laughs> <laughs> do you know anybody that's done that no but i just Came up with that idea just on the Okay. So uh, Thursday, we are going to do the um, Duido card. And we do have this card kit available on our website. And so we're going to be working with Angel Side Circle. We're going to do Duido. I need, I I need and I'm not sure there. what else we're going to throw in there, but we do have the card kit. And um, Tom has something else to throw away. Throw away. Tom has something to give away. What are you? Yeah, somebody give what's away. What's your question? We're at, we're at 80. What do you need for another? You need 90 for the third. Come yeah. on. Okay, I don't want to pull the camera up because okay, that makes fine. people want to okay. vomit. Can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, this is a sports question tonight. Okay, sports. That's right, sports. In the game of ice hockey, the game of ice hockey. When they invented the game, what was the very first hockey puck made out of? Again, when they first invented the game, what was the very first hockey puck made out of? First, first answer gets it. Okay, so if you guys can type in the chat what you think the very first hockey puck was made out of, whoever gets the answer correct the very first time gets a prize. Carmen Harrington is the winner. <laughs> That's exactly right, Carmen. <laughs> It oh was my made gosh. out of frozen cow manure. Mm. That you, Tom, are you purposefully picking these weird questions? Uh, yes. Yes. Imagine that. So when we do the um, Carmen, congratulations. Was Carmen the winner? Yes, Carmen's the winner. Congratulations, Carmen. We'll be happy to send, what are we sending her? The, uh, the push pull die. The push pull die. Awesome. Be happy to send that to you. Um, when we do the card, we are going to, I have lost my feed on this end. Did you lose it on your end? Mm, I'm, I'm in delay, I'm delayed. Okay. So just start it fresh. 
Well, I don't know if the feed's on. So can you just tell me if my feed is on? Uh, Ladies, do you see? No, Trigal said no. So, so uh, you're gonna have to turn it back on like you did pull your phone up. Okay, it's working, it's working here. here. Oh my gosh, guys, okay. sorry I had to rip you up. Okay, Okay. We can so I'm not that. sure what's going on here. Let's see. Let me see if I can get my other device going here. Which one? The uh, laptop is not, and that means I can't see what I'm doing. The laptop or the, the tablet? The tablet. I'll, I'll work on that. You work on the camera. I'll get your, I'll get your... Okay, so I'll talk while Tom fixes the other tablet. Um, so we're going to do this card next week, or I'm sorry, Thursday. We are going to do a trick on this background, and I'm going to show you how to do that actually tonight um, because it's just a really cool technique, and I want to show you how versatile and awesome this little trick is. So we have a set of um, stencils that are called circle masks and stencils, and we have another package that's called oval mask and stencils. When you buy this, there are three sets of stencils in that package, and there are three sets of masks. So the stencil is this part, <laughs> the part with the hole, and the mask is the, the circle part. So when you buy these, you get both in the set, three and three, and really cool techniques you can do with both of them, and we're going to do that on this car tonight, and it's one of the reasons why we I wanted to do the wind and the waves. There is a really cool... Um, sunshine card um, that I made with the pole dara and it's what we use for advertising but I, I don't have that card in here either so um, tons of creative things you can do with uh, this die and tonight we're going to do the wind and the waves because I just thought it was kind of appropriate for where we're at I'm gonna have time to give something else away right yes and Tom will give something else away um, when I get to the end but okay, look, way, I want to show you how to do this. Go over the bundle special again with them because a lot of people weren't aware that we have a bundle special and the push pull. The um, you can order anything from the website right now and get twenty percent off when you use coupon code Sunshine. The bundle special tonight is for the push pull die, the pull push accessory, which is the four piece with Sean, the gift, right there. the gift, the sun. This is the accessory. The gift, the sun, it's got a butterfly on there. I tried to hit like you could do any occasion with this piece right here. You get the popping up sentiments words and you can use these on any of your popping up, pull, push, fun cards. This is a very versatile stamp. And then pull tab words, which has pull, push, look, surprise, lift, covers kind of all the basics. Plus it has the arrows on there to help out those who are pull challenge <laughs> so we're going the other things that are on this card tonight are um well, that was finish the bundle special i'm sorry the tell bundle me, special the regular price is regular price fifty dollars and ninety six cents but tonight the bundle special price for you is thirty five dollars and ninety nine cents so it's a fourteen dollar and ninety seven cent sayings savings in order to get that savings you need to order the bundle special and if you look on the website <clears throat> there is a category for bundle specials and you click on that and put it in the sure says she's having problems keeping the butterfly together on the paper mm -hmm. yeah cool. piecing it together it's kind of tricky you just i uh get the background wet and move it around till I get it where I want because those pieces are kind of small. Wet with the undo. Undo, I'm sorry. Yeah, put some undo on the background and then you have super tacky tape on the back of your paper and move it around until you get it where you want to get it. And it helps, it helped me if I looked back at the package to see the original design. That butterfly looks really cool once you get it set up, but it is a little odd because it's like Tricky. three different parts. We are working with the anchor die tonight and um, this is a two-part anchor. We're only using one layer of it, but we're going to use um, the top layer. But you can layer it two parts. And then we're using uh, the wind and the wave stamp tonight. And this stamp just has some really nice sayings. We had a stamp similar to this a few years ago, 
And I um, changed this stamp up a little bit because some of these expressions people did not want me to get rid of. So it has some new things and has um, some older expressions on them that um, were popular. That were popular. So um, hold on to hope one day at a time. God is always with you. And we're going to use the wind and the waves still know his name. And there's a really cool worship song right now. And I don't remember the name of it, but that line is in the song. Um, powerful song. So we're going to um, make that background first. And so now that we know that the camera is working, we are going to um, turn the camera down. So hang down, on, down, down, down. hang on, ladies and gentlemen. Do we have any gentlemen? Probably. Okay, so this is where we're going. Where are we going? We're going right there, baby, the wind and waves. Clean up our, I have a bit of a mess. Okay, so we are going to start with a piece of paper that um, we're going to put up on the front of our card, and it is going to be 3.75 by 4.5, and then we'll mat it on the blue paper. That's blue foil. That's blue foil, and that one's not cut quite right. There we go. Um, so we are going to put our card down. I already stamped it. We're going to take our super tacky tape, and this is the quarter inch, and put that right in the middle. And we're going to put that card right in the middle. Use the grid so that we have everything lined up. And we are going to take our sun. This is the rising sun template. In the house. And we're the going ride. to the put sun. that over the top of our card. Now, we kind of want to eyeball that and um, get it centered as much as we can. I am going to pull it up a little bit to the top. Um, so I have a pretty good eye, but every once in a while I get off. So having a ruler around is a good idea. You get a, you have a better eye when you get your glasses. I will. I will, I will. We're going to push that down. Sorry. I don't know why I did that. We're going to take the mask. We had the stencil. Now we're going to take the mask, and we're going to put that mask down, and we want to center that right over the top. So we're going to put our piece of tape in there, and we want to make sure that's centered right on top. Hold that down. So do you see how the mask and the stencil are nice to work together to create these cool layered looks with the ink. So we're gonna take our J brush. You didn't tape the center down, you're just holding it with your finger. I have uh, super tacky tape in the middle, Tom. Ah. I'm just holding it down because I tend to be kind of a bit of a wild child. No way. Yep, yeah way. So I just wanna make sure it's not going anywhere. We're gonna ink that up, get our sunshine going. Inky, inky, inky. And we're, I'm using the, um, the J brush with the Catherine Pooler ink. So once I have my basic ink down, I'm going to pick up some ink and I'm going to run this all around this edge just so we can kind of get the ink to radiate out from the center. Okay. Now we are going to pull this off. Now we're going to use our undo to remove that so we don't tear up our card. Clean off our stencil. Remove this other piece. We have our nice background there. It is raining. Is Did you know it was going to rain? I don't think it's supposed to rain till tomorrow. It's almost 80 degrees here today, crafters. Okay, we have our stencil clean. Now we have our basic circle there and we're ready to go back in and put in our water. So we're going to take our stencil and we're gonna put that stencil right over that circle. Diane Morris asks, can you cut an extra butterfly out of scrap paper and use it mm. as a stencil to glue the pieces to your card? 
That's really good. Um, use it as a negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea, Diane. Good answer. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Good answer. Good answer. Okay, we're going to put that down. And then we want to put some water in there, right? Well, so well. we're going to use that water stencil. So this is the water stencil. It's got rain and it's got different kinds of water on it. We're going to use this one tonight. Um, so what we're going to do is take our purple tape and tape off the bottom because I am I tend to be a wild child when I stencil and ink's flying everywhere. Yeah. So every time I don't tape something off, then I'm like, why didn't I just tape the stencil off? So tape it off. And then we will start right there. And we're gonna lay that on top of our circle and we're going to pick up some blue ink. Now, we do not want very much ink on our brush. So hopefully we'll get blue here because you remember earlier I stuck this in green ink. You I'm using my J brush, we talked about that. Now, I when I do this, this is a very small space and I do not want very much ink on my brush. So I am running a lot of ink off of the brush over here. Get you to see that. Um, so if you go picking up ink, it's a really good idea to know, do I have a dry ink pad or do I have a wet ink pad? So um, I really like to, I prefer to break in my Catherine Pooler inks and then keep them pretty dry. This one is fairly wet. Even when they're dry, you can still stamp well out of them, and I just think the ink blends better. So I'm getting rid of the extra ink, and then I'm coming back in, and I'm swiping from the bottom up right into my stencil. And then I'm going to pick up my stencil and move it. And when I move it up, I'm going to shift it over it a little bit, and we're going to go back in. We're just going to build up some waves. So this works for any of your G type cards or anytime you want a little water. <laughs> Mr. Creek is trying to be helpful with a light, but he keeps running into things. Oh, that is helpful. Okay, makes sense. And I just shifted that template a little bit when I picked that up. So I'm gonna readjust and get it back down. So that it, this is just a fun way to use the stencils. And Thursday, we're going to do another technique with them. And I just wanted you to be able to see, that's part of the reason why we're doing this card tonight, is just shows you another great, great way to um, use those. Now, I like to go back in and just give myself a little bit of a blue background. Go in there, and my brush is very dry. Very little ink on this brush at this point. Go back in. And I think I'd like to darken up that one wave. So I'm gonna go back and realign, and just a little bit more right there. Okay. Makes sense. Pull that off. That is our background. And then wipe that off with our Wonder Wipe. Now we made the background. So what we have left is mechanism and card. There's our background. So I am going to adhere that to a piece of paper. Super tacky tape on the back. Marty asked me, Julie, would you please show how you hold the jade brush? Marty's had problems with the color falling down. I said she needs to choke up. Yes. Her. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good question, Marty. Good answer. Um, when I hold that brush, I... Um, hold it like this. So like when I'm holding it like this, you guys can't really see that. But on the side, I have my finger here. That's my middle finger. And I use it to hold that collar. And I can even, depending on how I hold it and what's going on, I can sometimes move that up and down with my finger. I'm not right now. But I'm holding that up 
with my finger. So if that collar's coming down on you, and sometimes the brushes, some of them are looser than others. They wanna slide really easy. Um, just use your finger. You could even hold it with your thumb. I choke up on it. I pull up the collar and I choke up on it. In other words, take it like this. Okay, the man's coming over. He's gonna stick his hand in here. You do that while I do this. Like this, like, like this right here. So I'm actually holding. Oh well, that's a and halfway. I can, then. And I can adjust it anywhere right, I want. You got to look and see if you're on the camera. Am I on the camera? I'm not on the camera. You got to be right there. there. Oh, am I there? I'm not there. There. Yeah, I am. that's why you got. See, I can choke up on it like that, and that's not but going anywhere. That, or I can bring it back. Tight. Or I can bring it yeah. back here. Okay. Or I can bring it back here. Just how I choke up on the collar itself. It's all like in that. the choke. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, you me? just choke up on it. It's kind of like if I guess you probably didn't play baseball, Marty, but. Maybe softball. You choke up on a bat. You just you just move the collar, and you just as you grip it, you keep that collar from moving back and forth. It's pretty natural. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay. There's our background, and we need to put Mary our. Rose asks, "What is the proper cleaning technique for the J brush?" Um. The proper cleaning technique, if I am just switching off between two colors, I just wipe it off on my grid. Do you see how I, I just went over here and I, and you can see the green down here. If I'm just doing this, I wipe it off down there. If I really want to make sure that I'm not going to transfer a color, then I get my brush and I run it under cold water until the water runs clear and i'm putting the mechanism together here while i'm talking um till the water runs clear and then i am so take this off water run water over it until it's clear and then pull the band up and let it sit overnight and that will totally wash the color out i did a baby boy card a while back and I wanted super light blue. And so I washed my brush out and then came back to it <clears throat> in the morning and had a really nice clean brush. So <clears throat> you can also just wipe it off on a wet wipe. If you put a wet wipe on it, you will be amazed at how much color the wet wipe pulls out of it. <clears throat> I would not recommend putting it on the wonder wipe just because you're gonna have ink everywhere. And the nice thing about the wet wipe is you can end up just throwing that away. <clears throat> so we're, I'm putting the mechanism together here. Trim those babies off. You want to make sure you get that right underneath that slide guide. There we go. Okay, now we need to mark the center point of our card. Well, Thomas, I think you're going to have to go get me a card. What would you need? A card from the other room. Blank right. card. I want you to answer Katrina's question. Okay. Well, I'm getting you another card. Okay. Quickly, young man. All right, what do you, you need? Another? I just need the card, a white card. I thought a I white, had a... A white card. Just a, just not a folding card or an A2 card or just a card stock? That's yes, a card. Okay. We're going to go in here 1.25 inches and 1.25 inches. And I thought I had a whole stack of cards here, ladies. Sorry. And we're going to add our foam down the sides. Tom's going to have to be like husband of the year. Anything in any of the videos about the pros and the cons of Catherine Pooler inks? Uh, Darren, I haven't done any. You can watch uh, Catherine Pooler has a lot of... Darren's asking about the Catherine Pooler inks, and I haven't done any video on them. I love them because they blend so beautifully. I need a card. An A2 card. Well, that's what I this is a piece you. of paper. I know. That's, I asked I, you. We have A2 cards back there. Yes, I asked you that question. <laughs> I'm trying to 
I said I need an A2 card. Sometimes. Okay. So I like the inks because they are super juicy. They does not take very much ink to get a really good image out of them, and they blend. The colors blend beautifully. You can um, watercolor with them if you put the ink on a craft sheet. So did you not hear me ask you about the A2 card? <laughs> okay, we're gonna take our A2 card that our husband got for us without complaining. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to mark the center point. You know, he got it for the wife who was all prepared and ready, right? Then we're going to take our glue dot, and we're going to put that one glue dot in the middle. Right there. And I kind of, I'm doing this in a different sequence than I did the other card, but we're doing the same thing. Okay. Darren, did I answer your question? Yeah, yeah, and you got the little, um, Darren, you got the little, that multi-pack is a good way to get started, and those multi-packs have a lot of really nice colors in them. So that's a good way to pick up a lot of color and get started with them. The ink, the Catherine Pooler inks are on the website, and only during this time, um, are they 20% off? Yes. Because we do not normally discount those inks. We're actually not supposed to be discounting them. Um, don't forget the so, and we do have the reinker. So you once this your life by ten times. once this whole um, crisis gets over with, we'll, we will have to go back to selling them at full price. So Prices. it is a good opportunity. Now the black, the Catherine Pooler black, is archival, and you can um, Copic color it. It does not work like the other inks. It's a little bit different, and you can see. Watch video on from Catherine Pooler on that. Okay, we're going to take our card. We're going to set that right on top like we did before. <laughs> Darian asked how often do you have to bring ink? Darren, that depends on how much you use them. You use them. And if you're using them with the um, brushes, you're, you, you tend to go through a lot of ink with the brushes. But I like them dry. You'll find when you open those that they are really wet. Okay, got our whole card going there. We got our pull. We're going to stick our anchor on there. It kind of pulls everything together. You want to make sure you stick that down really well. That has our super tacky tape on the back of it. We do sell the super tacky tape in a three-inch roll and a six-inch roll. So we unwind that. We put our paper in it, and we die cut. And then when I pull my anchor paper out of the die cut machine, I have die cut a sticker and all I have to do is peel it and stick it. And we've made our, our pull card. So that is how we make our push, our pull and push card. Does anybody else have any questions? I have something to give away. I know you have something to give away. I was gonna, I'm coming up ladies. Should have warned you better. Um, any other questions? What does that question say about, can you put the push tabs within the knobbies of the mechanism? Oh, I don't understand that question. Do you understand that question, Tom? <clears throat> yeah, show her the sample where you put the push pull on the knobs. The green card right there, show her that. Yes. So oh, show her the push pull. You mean the word? Yeah. Is that what she wants to know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are. If that's if that's what you're asking, yes, those fit right on there. And we have a we have another die that's a it's called the the tab die, and I love the tab die. It's one of my favorite things because you can use it on scrapbooking or you can use it on cards. It's tabs, and these words actually fit. That wasn't what she on what the tab die. Tell us what you mean, Katrina. How big is this? The circle is around two and a half in the middle. The tabs, instead of using the glue tabs. The tabs. The tabs, instead of using the glue tabs. The tab. what, what tabs are you referring what to? What was the first question? Can you use the push machine tabs? With, mm, I'm not sure. Hmm. 
Can it go in between? <clears throat> Nobody would see it. She's still typing the... I don't think we understand her question. Yeah, she's still typing it. She said, can it go in between? <clears throat> so this is a fun card. White knobbies in the middle of the mechanism. <clears throat> if you put anything in the middle here... Covered up. This is all going to be covered up. This is what you cannot see. So if you put something in here, it's going to end up not showing, if that makes sense. So <clears throat> did Pat May join us tonight? I think she was. Pat, are you still around? We have 80. Do we have 84 people watching? I have 83. Do you see 84? I hope we do. I think she means instead we of the blue dot. Uh, in the, on the mechanism... I strongly recommend that you use the mini glue dot. <clears throat> I've made a lot of these cards and the glue dot just gives you the extra hold that it needs. Okay. I Debbie, Debbie's asking, do I laminate the jigs? And the answer is yes, I do. Because most of the time my jigs end up going out to the shows with me. And when we're working with you guys in the booth, yeah, that's there. the um, these get manhandled. Normally, if you're just mm -hmm. using these at home for yourself, I would not. I, the ones that stay at home for me, I don't laminate. But you can see this is laminated because it goes to shows and it gets touched by hundreds of people. So um, if I'm going out to a show, I laminate them. That's been okay. Pat, did you get your questions answered? So I'm, I'm thank you so much for coming and joining us. And I'm hoping that we answered your questions. If you still have questions, I think this is what Pat was emailing me this week, asking me about this, the jig. And I think we covered it tonight. Pat, if we didn't email me back and if you need me to send you a PDF of the actual size of this, I can do that for you. Okay. So if you need help with the actual size of the jig, you email me and I'll send you a PDF with the actual drawing on it, if that helps. I think we covered Katrina's question. I, I don't think we did because okay. maybe asked if we did if we saw Katrina's question. I don't think we understood. Well, Katrina's I question. you have to. I strongly recommend using the mini glue dot. I would not replace the mini glue dot with something else. So she's asking if we use it in plate instead of the mini glue dot. Tabs? What are tabs? I don't, I think she means adhesive tabs. Mm. And um, the mini glue dot is kind of um, thick. It just has a lot of holding power. So you need a really, like our super tacky tape is super tacky, but it just, um, the glue dot has that dimension that just gives it extra holding power. So um, I just recommend the uh, mini glue dot pat 2.125 by 2.75 that would be two and an eighth inches yeah it's two and an eighth so if that confuses two you three anyone else if this is an issue for you i can make a pdf file of this size because the 2.125 is kind of confusing so creekbc at gmail.com and i'll shoot you back a pdf file that'll help and then you can actually print that off Question. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, Tom has a, another gift to give away. Yeah, a, we have 30, 77 got, people watching is what I have here. We had 84. We had 84. We were, we were getting short. close. We were so close. We were six short. We're still so up. we're going to do um, Dweedle next week. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, on Thursday, but we'll do something else too. I might throw in a bookmark or something like that. Okay, crafters. I've got a Sysix 3D embossing folder here, a floral, a floral here. Okay. And, oh, I like that one. By the way, by the way, Lisa Stevens, Lisa, if you're out there. are you there? <laughs> last week, you won an apron, and we needed you to private messages so we could send you the apron. We still haven't heard from you, so we could send you your apron. So if you're out there, private message us your address, and we can send you your, your apron. Okay, now, the question. Okay. In the state of Nebraska, that's right, Nebraska, by law, in the state of Nebraska, a barber cannot do what between the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m.? I'm sorry. A barber cannot do this one thing 
between the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Is that post COVID-19 or during COVID-19? Anytime. The laws, the laws all the time. <laughs> it's a law that's really on the books. Okay. So keep talking while I get the, get get a get a winner here. Okay. They're they're already guessing. I see that. Now nowadays it would be you can't cut hair. Buzz your head. <clears throat> Boy, they're all they're all they're all on the same wavelength. So, are sandwich female guide circle mechanisms in male slide? Judy Retz, look at Judy Retz's question. So, they are sandwich female guide. Judy, technically, is technically it does not matter if you do male first or female first. Just get two opposites and click them together in the mechanism. <coughs> does that make sense? <laughs> I always put the male down on the table first because the male is smaller and it's easy to set the hole over the male and the female goes on top. Okay. I'm gonna give so, I'm gonna give him a hint. I'm gonna give him a hint. Okay. Okay. It's eat something. They cannot eat something. They cannot eat something. Between the hours of seven AM and seven PM. So did that answer was that Judy's question? They're all guessing. A donut. Tom Wesley. Tom, that's come Kathy. on down. Eat that's onions. Kathy. That's exactly right, Tom. Oh, that's what Tom, Tom loves Wesley. onions. He eats onions almost for every meal. <laughs> How many onions did you, what kind of onions did you plant in the garden? I planted red onions. Red onions. Sweet onions. Sweet onions. Sweet onions. And regular Standard onions. Standard onions. And he taught our grandson, who is five, <laughs> to eat wild onions. Do you all have wild onions where you're at? So we have a lot. In the spring, we have a lot of wild onions that grow, like, around the house and stuff, like in the woods. And um, so Tom taught my grandson to eat um, these wild onions when he was at our house. And he went home and he was picking wild onions out of the yard and eating them. And his mom was in the house and she thought that he was out there eating grass. <laughs> <laughs> she comes running out of the house and she's like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm not eating grass. Grandpa taught me how to eat wild onions. So his breath smells most of the time now. Who's because this? Yes. Your grandson's. Yes. Oh, and then, and then Judah Bear, he likes garlic. Yes. yes. Hold on. Judy's still asking questions. Not a different adhesive. I'm not sure. Judy, I'm not following you. So why don't you email me at creekbc at gmail.com and we'll see if we can't um, finish that up. Um, and, we'll, and we'll try to get you taken care of. You're welcome, Kathy. Okay, Thomas, come on. All right, ladies hey. and gentlemen. I don't know if we have gentlemen watching. Yes, ladies. Thank you so Tom much. Tom Worsley, don't forget to... Uh... It's Kathy. Is it Kathy? It's a regular customer. Kathy? Kathy? You've shipped Kathy? 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 Weren't you a winner two weeks ago, Kathy? <laughs> Tom? Tom, are you the winner or is Kathy the winner? All right, anyway, hey. Yes. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Uh, and, and and Tom, Kathy, whoever you are, don't forget to make sure we have your address so we can send you that embossing Oh, okay, folder. wait. So maybe that, can two pieces of cardstock fit between the slides? Uh, Katrina, I don't know. I haven't tried it. I think so. Y'all, they're still asking questions. So I think somebody, the two the two pieces, the slide guides click together. They snap together. You don't need adhesive for them. Hopefully we've got that covered. So, hey guys, thank you so much. Hey, thanks a lot. We appreciate Seriously, it. Seriously, we could not keep going if it wasn't for your support. So and we appreciate so it so much. Thank you. We love you all. And don't forget, happy birthday, Dweedle Card on Thursday. Get your card get out and ready to go. But gosh, by golly, we're going to make us a birthday card. All right. right. Thank you so much. Hey. We'll see you Thursday. Good to see you. Bye.